it's Garnold, and today I'm going to show some updates I recently made to my game Survival Apocalypse. First of all, the warehouse has been updated to become the center of the new storing system. As you can see, when I mouse over the door piece of the new model, a GUI saying click to access inventory pops up. When I click it, I'm shown a GUI displaying what's in my inventory on the left and what's inside the warehouse on the right. Clicking on an item in your inventory moves it to the warehouse, while clicking on something in the warehouse moves it back to your inventory. The warehouse is capable of storing both items and tools, with a maximum of 15. A stable warehouse can carry up to 30 though. So now I'm going to take my gun out of here and move on to the next big thing I updated. The object here is the new bed, which works basically as a personal spawn point. I know how frustrating it can be to die, respawn all the way across the map, and possibly get spawn killed. So I made the bed. I'll quickly demonstrate how it works. Alright, so if I'm wandering around and somehow happen to die... Wait for it... I will respawn on the bed. If you have multiple beds, you will spawn on one of them at random. But that's not all there is to beds. They're also destructible. So uh, I got my gun here. If you shoot them enough with a gun, they'll eventually fall apart and disappear. As you can see here, it falls apart and vanishes. Destroying a bed effectively prevents anyone from spawning there again. This makes it so that if someone, like a raider, sets up a bed in your base, you have the ability to destroy it. Also, if you are the raider, destroying a person's bed prevents him or her from spawning back in on it, giving more time to take stuff from that player. Now I'll put these stools back into the warehouse and transfer the building to someone else so I can demonstrate the next feature of the new storage system. Alright, so I've transferred the warehouse to Modern Assault Studios here, and he, as the owner, has access to all of the contents inside of it. And now, since I'm not the owner, to gain access to the warehouse, I must enter a four-digit PIN number. You can get this number by either asking the player or spending a year trying to guess it. To enter the PIN, all you have to do is simply walk up to the warehouse... Click on the door, this menu will pop up here, and all you have to do is just type in the pin number into the white space that the player told you. In this case it is 7940, I believe. Yes, I am right. So you press submit, and you should now have access to the inventory. This system allows you to share your possessions with those you trust, as well as promoting colony unity. With these new updates, the role of the colony in SA is stronger than ever. Beds promote a sense of protection in your base, and warehouses allow you to share items and tools with fellow colony members, thus being able to assist them easily. So that about wraps things up. If you like or hate what I'm doing to this aspect of the game, or have any ideas on how I can make it better, please let me know. After all, I'm just trying to make the game more fun, and without feedback from you guys, I'm, I'm truly lost. If you thought this video was helpful and would like to see more videos on updates I make, please tell me. Anyways, like and subscribe if you like my content, and thank you for watching. Crank it up. It goes through cloth! <laughs> it hit the cloth and exploded in my face! <laughs> what?